Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know, my name is Kevin Yu. We're gonna be doing a little bit something different today. I'm going into my first micro needling appointments or session, and it's supposed to help with acne. I'll have Priya, the owner of the Pimple Place, let you know what we're doing today. Uh, but essentially, I've been battling with acne for a very long time, and I've been seeing her helping with my acne. I've been taking different types of medications. I've been using topical medications, and today we're finally able to do the microneedling since they want all your cystic acne, all your acne to be very calm before you're doing any type of procedure to help with acne scarring and acne marks. But I am nervous because any type of procedure, uh, we're gonna first start with numbing and then get right into the actual microneedling procedure. But anyways, let's go. Nice to see you. It's been so long. I know. How's everything been? Everything's good. All right, so today we are doing your first microneedling session. Okay. And uh, this is going to be great because, you know, up until now we have been trying to get the acne under control and get it stable. And mm -hmm. now we're trying to address the scarring that it left behind. So microneedling is a procedure basically designed to stimulate collagen. It's causing little micro injuries to the skin and that stimulates collagen production, which is how it helps with scarring. So just to give everyone a little bit of a history, Kevin, we saw him for the first time a few months back earlier this year, and he had, I would say, maybe like mild to moderate breakouts. But they were pretty consistent. So we started him on a course of antibiotics and a couple different topicals. So the antibiotic is something called Cesara. It's similar to doxycycline, but it has less side effects. And then we also did a topical antibacterial called Amzeek, which is a topical minocycline foam. And then something called Araslo for nighttime, which is a retinoid, which is also something that can help with your scarring. Yeah, the morning foamy one, it definitely ruined my two shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's our biggest complaint for yeah. that one. But it is supposed to absorb within an hour of mm. applying it. So you actually can wash your face afterwards. Uh. Uh, but usually it's also, if you're using a little too much, then it can leave behind a residue. So we are going to get him numbed up. Okay. And how long is the numbing? The numbing cream, we allow you to sit with it for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. You can do longer too. You can numb me good. <laughs> well, we'll numb numbing. you good. <laughs> yeah, all the numbing would be preferable. It's, it's <laughs> I promise you won't feel anything. Okay, okay. How's it look? That's good. I feel like uh, Ben Wallace. I don't know who else has headbands. LeBron. Oh, all right. So this is some medical grade numbing cream. How popular is microneedling? Oh my gosh, so popular. You're my third one today. Oh my goodness. So it is definitely one of our more popular treatments. It was pretty good. I don't notice too much. I think my upper lip is a little tingly. Oh, it's gonna start feeling weird. Really? Yeah. Okay. Especially when I, when I like wipe off the numbing cream. Yeah. Um, it's gonna feel really weird. <laughs> yeah. Cause you'll be able to feel pressure, but you won't feel pain. Putting Vaseline on, lips are so dry. I don't know why they became so dry. <laughs> Dude, I can't even move my face. This is weird. You smile. Oh, okay. How long does this last? Maybe like two hours. How do you think it's gonna look tomorrow? You'll be pretty red. Can I tomorrow. touch face or like, can I be outside? You can be outside if you wear a hat and lots of sunscreen. I don't want you getting unprotected sun exposure. Your skin will be a little dry after this procedure. Don't be afraid to moisturize as much as you need. I'm a little crazy about cleaning because obviously we want to make sure that the skin is very clean before we do microneedling. Okay, go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, my face, I cannot feel anything. <sighs> this is our microneedling pen. 
Wow. Is that gold? It is gold. All right, I'm going to move back. So, usually when we do microneedling, we use a glide so the needles don't really like stick. They, you know, they just like kind of nicely glide over the skin. So I'm just going to drop a little bit on the forehead. I always start on the forehead. So eyes closed for the rest of the day? No. No? You can open your eyes. Do people ever just like open eyes and just keep eye contact? Or is that super weird? Um, actually, you're right. I think most people close their eyes. All right. I might... All right. Wait, is this happening right it's now? It's happening now. Oh my God. Could I have the ball actually? Yeah. Oh. Stress balls make everything better. What does this one say again? I think it says... Focus, listen, breathe. <laughs> Jarvis, you might have to hold my hand later too. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. No, it's kind of loud. I'm going to start right here, okay? So, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst, do you feel anything? No, I do not feel anything. Nothing. Wait, is it working? Is it like, working. oh my God. But since you're not feeling anything and since I'm not seeing as much, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Oh really? Yeah, you'll be okay. Okay, I trust right. you. Doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing okay. It's kind of relaxing in a way, right? It is, like a little vibration. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do not feel anything at all. Besides just, yeah, vibrating. So the idea is to get a little bit of pinpoint bleeding. And the reason for that is because you want to make sure you are in the dermis of the skin, which is like the second layer of skin. That's where collagen is stimulated. So you want to see just a little bit of pinpoint bleeding. Travis, what's it looking like? Uh, I can see why you're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. You oh, survived. We did it. We're done. Yeah. Yay. I'd say my right side is a little itchy, but other than that. So it's common to feel a little bit of stinging just because you are kind of raw. You might still be numb, so that might prevent that stingy sensation. So like a newborn. The best part about this treatment Everybody loves this. Oh, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Should I keep my eyes closed? You can keep your eyes closed. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more of that hyaluronic acid serum on you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Day one complete. Session one complete. I want you to see your face. In the see my face in the mirror. Holy hell! <laughs> <laughs> it's so red. Yeah. Whoa. It is uh, 9 p.m. Day one. I feel like I got sunburned so hard. My face is still pretty numb. I would say. Let's try out the spray that Priya suggested, the thermal spring water. We'll check within tomorrow for day two. Have a good night. Day two, morning. Actually, the redness isn't that bad. A little itchy up here, but cheeks, the tightness and like up above my lip is gone too. Day two of the process. A little checkup. Not as itchy as today. Uh, slept a lot better today. All right, today is day three. Uh, skin check. Looking better. It's a little bit itchier um, when I was sleeping. Um, I definitely put a lot more moisturizer on it today. Face is more dry, I would say, but less red. What's up, y'all? Day five, wait, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day four. Skin is looking good. A little bit up here. I would say that the most itchy is definitely my forehead. Cheek is not bad. It's day five, Thursday. 
skin is way better i would say it's not dry really just like maybe right here and right here but the redness is pretty much gone day six we are looking pretty good yesterday was the first day going out redness is pretty much all gone itchiness is pretty much all gone just a little residual on the forehead we're looking good looking clean and if i do feel my skin is a lot smoother on my cheeks week one saturday now skin no redness pretty much gone the cheeks pretty smooth pretty awesome to be honest just itchiness maybe like right here and like here it's still a little bit but overall i would say looking delicious today is tuesday uh, we are going in for our second micro needling session and here's an update on the skin i would say overall the cl clearness and like the smoothness has improved a lot since it's just only been one time so i'm excited for the second time i am a little nervous because i do have clients tomorrow and i have class today for my california licensing exam um, and they both need webcams to be on so i'm just going to be like a wilson volleyball from castaway on camera but anyways appointments at three and we will see you there so we are about to numb for microneedling number two i did notice maybe the slightest bit of hyperpigmentation on his right cheek which concerned me just a little bit so to be on the safe side and to just take all precautions i think we will probably start kevin on some brightening pads which we have here at the office mm. so they have hydroquinone in them and kojic acid and some other lighteners and brighteners it's mostly just to kind of like you know make sure that we have a good outcome and we just want to prevent anything from worsening or darkening okay yeah i'm ready for it <laughs> all right so here this is a lovely numbing. I can move around now. Yeah, now you can do whatever you want. Numbing cream. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst? Uh, 0. Okay, perfect. Everything feel okay? A little stingy? Mm, pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Wow! All right. What? <laughs> It is day one after session two. I would say it's actually less red than the first time. Maybe it's just more red here, but we definitely did more on my right cheek because we noticed the, the hyperpigmentation from last time. Day two after session two. It's kind of itchier today. I would say the redness is down from this session than the last one. Day three. It's itchy today. It is itchy. Still don't know if I can shave yet. Redness is a lot better here. Day four, after session two. Today was probably like the one day I felt kind of bleh. Since yeah, we can't really go outside in direct sunlight, can't really sweat. I think this week was a lot tougher because it was just work and then study all day, uh, and not really hanging out with some friends. Exam life sucks to begin with, and uh, it didn't make it any easier, so. Mental strength, it is day five. The skin is a lot less red, a lot less itchy. I slept on my side of my faces last night and it felt good. Got really good rest because yeah, it's kind of hard to sleep on your back the entire time after getting the treatment. Day six, and I would say we are pretty much at 100%. Redness pretty much all gone, but yeah, overall, I would say the smoothness is unreal. But yeah, we'll, we'll start using the whitening pads that Priya suggested, and I'll try to show you how those look. She told me it was supposed to be cleanse face, wipes, and then the retinoin, and then my moisturizer. We made it to a week. Finally shaved. Feel great. 
I don't know. I think, like, the smoothness of my skin is very, very good. But I don't know about the discoloration because preset is not supposed to do anything, so I can't tell. And I'm focusing on a little bit too much on, on my right side. All the itchiness is pretty much gone. No more redness. Today I'll use the wipe with the topical and the moisturizer. We're back for a third session at the Pimple Place for microneedling. Uh, skin feeling pretty good. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Session three, numbing. So for Kevin, if you mention Kevin Yu and are interested in microneedling, then you can take advantage of the buy two, get one free promo. So buy two microneedling sessions, get one free. The reason we like doing at least three sessions, if not more, each one about a month apart, is because when we do a procedure, it stimulates collagen and that collagen stays stimulated for a few weeks. And so if you do another treatment on top of that, it's a synergistic effect. So then it stimulates more collagen. So, you know, you'll definitely notice better results the more you do it. And I think Kevin can agree definitely. to that, right? So. Ah. <laughs> so fresh. So fresh. So I like putting a little bit of that HA serum on at the end. We're good? We're good. Yay! <laughs> we are done. We're done. Finally, three sessions. Three <laughs> sessions. Thank you for everything. Of course. Check out Priya at the Pimple Place. It's Come awesome. Great experience. Everyone's super nice. Welcoming. I feel taken care of. Pampered. <laughs> We're back after a little bit over a month since my last microneedling session. It is January 7th. So yeah, a little bit over a month. This is kind of the results of my microneedling session. I would say overall, pretty big difference is just i would say the the softness of my skin i know just kind of over the holidays and the new year i broke out just from i would say sleeping schedule and i got off of the say sarah uh, medication so i think that also was a big piece of it but overall i would say i'm pretty happy with my results right side left side side profile i would say still my cheeks there is pigmentation here too but I would say overall, just like the, the suppleness and the, the softness is noticeable since my first session. I would say after the, the third session, it was the quickest recovery I had. Itchiness went away a lot quicker. Redness went away a lot quicker. And I think as you go, your skin just adapts and you're, you kind of get used to it. But I would say first one was definitely the worst. Second one was better. Third was the best. Yeah, I'd say like final review. I am happy with it. I am glad I went through it. I don't know if I would do another session. Just because I thought the downtime was a little bit too long for me. I didn't like the fact that I just really couldn't go outside. And then working out also, not really be able to sweat. But from the results, I think it was worth. So that's why I thought three was just enough for me. Maybe down the road, after six months or something like that, I could do another session, but month to month to month is, I think it was kind of tough just having to take that one week break. And especially when I was studying too, pretty awful. I think everyone at the Pimple Place was great. Prio was great. They, they explained everything really well. I felt very comfortable. There was a little bit of nervousness when you're going in for the first time, just getting your numbing cream and then also just hearing the, the needle do its job. But overall, I think I expected everything. I think all the things to do after with the moisturizer, with the mist, Staying out of the sun was very, very informative. But thank you very much, Priya, in the pimple place. I appreciate you letting me go through this process and doing the microneedling. I really do love the results and I'm happy that I did it. And they were really supportive throughout the entire thing. So anytime I sent them a message, really quick on replying. So definitely recommend the pimple place if you're near Santa Monica or in the LA area. If you're trying to do microneedling, something I wanna try in the future too is the hydrofacial. But other than that, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I hope your skin journey goes well and you found the regimen and the medications and whatever it is to help you get through your acne journey and your skin journey. Other than that, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.